just one point. One point is all we are asking from the God of football. Please listen to us. Just one point. One point only. Please, that's all we need for this game between Bournemouth and Chelsea Football Club. One point, please. Just one time, I'm talking to God himself. I need prayer. I need my prayers answered for just once. Please, please, please. Just one time. Just one time. Okay, guys. So, Bournemouth against Chelsea Football Club on Saturday away at Vit. Vitality Stadium, right? That is the name of the stadium. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't really care in this point. <laughs> Regardless of the stadium, everywhere is becoming a boogie team, a boogie ground for Chelsea Football Club. So it doesn't matter. Even if we play in the park, somebody is going to beat us. We just need one point and one point only. Don't forget to join us, Soka IQ. The link is going to be in the description down below. We are live every single day over there for hours. And we're going to be there, you know, for the watch along on Saturday. And probably we're going to celebrate one point as if we won the Champions League. Who knows? Just one point and one point only. Anyways, my people, so... This video is about head to head. This is not like a, a proper preview, but I want to give you an idea about how the two teams been doing in the Premier League and for the last uh, five games that they play against each other will happen. So you can prepare yourself. <laughs> Look at the table here, my people. Manchester City. By the time of recording, of course, Manchester City are on top with 79 points with one game in hand. Arsenal are second, 78 points. Uh, Newcastle are third, 65. Manchester United, 63, are fourth. And Liverpool are fifth. Look at Chelsea Football Club, 12. 33 games played. 39 point. Lord have mercy. Look at, at us. So it's going to be 12 against uh, the 13th. So if they beat us, they're going to go top. My goodness. I didn't even realize that. I am discovering this together with you. They're going to be top. They're going to be ahead of Chelsea Football Club. Wow, what is happening to my team? So, bottom four, you can see here, Leeds United, Nottingham Forest, Everton, and Southampton. Let's go. Head to head between the, t the two teams, right? So, in the last uh, five games, let's go back to... 2018, it was in September, we beat them at Stamford Bridge 2-0, as you can tell here. And then Bournemouth beat us in, uh, in 2019, January 4-0. Wow. 4-0. <laughs> we lost away 4-0. And Chelsea lost at Stamford Bridge. That was December 2019. Yeah, they came to the bridge. They beat us 1-0. And then we drew Bournemouth 2, Chelsea 2. That was at Vitality Stadium. And it was February 2020. Now, the last game that we played against them was... Last December, under Graham Pora, and we won 2-0. Yeah. So, <laughs> we were winning even some games under Graham Pora, right? <laughs> Since he left, we never won any game.
All right, people, let's continue a little bit with uh, back-to-back analysis just to give you an idea of how bad or good we've been. Look at Chelsea Football Club. Four defeat and one draw in the Premier League in the last five games. The only draw that we had was against Liverpool under Bruno Salter. Other games, lost, 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 lost under, uh, under Frank Lampard. Two home losses, two away losses. We are crap. And look at them. Look at Bournemouth, okay? Four wins with one loss. Tells you everything you want to know. We are not even close to a Sunday league kind of a team. This is ridiculous. This is embarrassing. Bournemouth winning games, Chelsea losing games. I heard of it. And guess what? Let me tell you something. One player from Chelsea can cost the entire team of Bournemouth. Yeah, one player. The, the price of one player is the entire budget of the team at Bournemouth. That's how bad we've been. And this is going to teach our young generation, Chelsea fans, that just because you spent a lot of money doesn't make you a, a, a good team. Or just because you cost a lot of money doesn't mean that you're going to perform good at Chelsea Football Club. It's more than that, my friends. Money is not everything in football. Right now, we have the money, but we can't win games. Okay, let me go and uh, check on what happened. The last, um, the last game that we won at Stamford Bridge, Kai Harvard was man of the match. And before I forget, remember this guy here, Dominic Salanke. One of us, made in Chelsea, through through and through. He's uh, in the same age as Tammy Abraham, you know, in that range. Won, uh, like, uh, the Champions League, the Youth Champions League twice with Chelsea Football Club. Won a lot of trophies in the academy level. And he left on free, went to Liverpool, and then Liverpool sold him, got a lot of money out of him. We didn't get anything because he left on free. Is a Chelsea thing. So the next thing you know, so he is going to punish us because it's always uh, Chelsea so-called reject that come back to to hurt us. So expect a, a, a goal, a header from this guy, Dominic Salanke, to, to punish us. Anyways, let's continue here. I don't want to scare you, but I'm, I'm, just, I'm just stating facts here, right? So, that game at Stamford Bridge, Kai Harvard scored 16th minute. Manson Mount, 24th minute. Raheem Sterling had an assist. Kai Harvard had another assist. That's why Kai was man of the match. Because he had one goal, one assist, two key passes. He had 77% uh, of pass completion. So, just tells you that this uh, silky German used to be good. Mason Mount was voted the second. Kepa Arisa Balaga made some very good saves that day. And Thiago Silva also had a very good game of football. Mark Kukurea also had a very good game. But the team is completely different than the team that we played at the bridge because they are getting better and Chelsea are getting worse. Anyways, people, I am going to make a video. Um, let me tell you. Let me just repeat what I just said. Like one player, if you take Marku Korea, he could he could cost the entire team of Bournemouth here. The budget, the money that we spent on Kukurea can buy the entire team here. Probably I am exaggerating, but you know what I'm trying to say. If you look at the money that we, we spent on um, Enzo Fernandez and all that Mikalo Modric. So money means nothing at the end of the day. Now you have to be smart and you have to coach. Yeah, I, I repeat, coach. Yeah, 
that is what uh, what uh, we want to see at Chelsea Football Club managers that can coach and develop players take them to the next level and not blame players all the time uh we want to see somebody who can develop players instead of blaming players okay so let me know what you think about this game do you see chelsea winning winning it um i'm gonna make another video for my preview really you know to give you my lineup and my starting 11 even though lampard will never listen to me because if he listens to me he's gonna win <laughs> he's gonna get one point and that's it <laughs> So let me know what you think about this game. Do you see Chelsea really get something out of this game? Or you think we're going to lose every single game from now on? I heard many people talking about us losing every single game until uh, until the end of the, the season. So they can make a point. Okay, They can say, I told you so. Uh, the manager is not good enough. But listen, this is about Chelsea Football Club managers come and go and i was always support chelsea football club would never wish my team to to lose so i can make a point